So we've got Miss Maeve leashed up. We're gonna hop outside. Um, so as soon as we get outside, Miss Maeve gets pretty anxious. And so um, we've just been doing some relax on a mat as soon as we get outside. And walking around a little bit, but mainly um, just getting her to where she's relaxed when she's out front. And having her realize as soon as we get our leash on, it's not that big of a deal. That it just means we're going to hang out for a second. And... Um, and that we can relax when we're in this new environment. So I don't think that we really have a huge problem that loose leash walking is the primary issue. I think the primary issue is that um, we got a lot of excitement and anxiety surrounding um, A, getting leashed up, and then B, being outside. So another exercise that can be beneficial is just leashing her up, staying inside and doing relax on a mat. So she starts to get desensitized and counter conditioned to just the leash. So we want to get her programmed to realize that the leash isn't a big deal. And also first thing when we get out the door, that's not that big of a deal either. Um, so a car just drove by. I want to give her a treat, let her know, nope, that's not that big of a deal. So she checked it out, looked over at it. Go be setting the treat down on the mat and let her know that's where the good stuff comes from. Uh, but she did a great job just a moment ago. I'm gonna set another treat down on the mat um, where she rested her little chin down and actually rested her, her face down on the ground. That's excellent. So let's see if, if we can get another one of those, get her to where she's really, really relaxed. We got a lot going on. So there's a lot of sounds and stuff. I'm gonna just give her a treat for being a, a, a good girl and hanging out, that's great. So, now that we are in a bit more of a relaxed state, let's give our loose leash walking a bit of a, a shot here. Maybe. So, she's on the wrong side. I'm going to stop here, get her, get her over to where I need her, put my treats down by the side, which is where she's got to go. Maeve! So, this may even be too much um, right now, which is fine. Maeve! Okay, we're going back over. Good girl. I appreciate her checking in with me, but I think this is too much. She wouldn't take the treat right there either, so give her a treat. We're going to go back to relaxing. So again, I don't think that it's that we have a really hard time um, just focusing. It's just the excitement and anxiety around walking that gets me too wound up um, because she does a great job focusing um, when we're inside, when we do the name games. So she understands her name, knows to focus in. It's just purely environmental. So we just need to get her more confident, comfortable with the environment. Maeve. Maeve. Good. So again, um, we remain silent during our relax on a mat and, um, you can certainly feel free to, uh, say her name to get her to come over to the mat, but that's it. Other than that, we remain I'm 100% silent. Good job, sweetie. Good work. See, so has some neighbor noise. She's a little nose dip. Let's give her one for that. Little nose dip. Good job. Good job, little nose dive there, very good. Good girl. So initially when we get into the great outdoors, she could not do a relax on a mat. So this is um, excellent progress. She's getting to where she can go outside and relax. So definitely pushing in the right direction. Really, really, really proud of her. She's an awesome little lady. Big lady. I call everyone little lady. You're so cute.
There's two calming signals. A bit of an audible yawn that you can use as well. It's just a big inhale and exhale. Our dogs are pretty perceptive to good job how we feel. She give me a little bit of a nose dip there. I'll give her one for that. Um, so using those two calming signals can be helpful as well. Okay, I'll give her one more. Let's give her another shot. We'll walk off this direction. Good job, sweetie. That's perfect. Checking in with me, giving me that good. Um, perfect. Every time she looks at me, I'm going to give her a quick and a treat because I want her to be more concerned with what I'm doing. I'm going to switch directions a little bit. Very good. Perfect. Oops. Missed your face. She looked over at me. I'm going to give her a quick and a treat. We're a little bit wrapped up here but I'm so proud of her good progress we're gonna keep cruising around a little bit good job so this is perfect this is exactly okay let's get you on hook I'm sorry sweetie. Um, this is perfect this is exactly what we're looking for um, here we go for her to check in with me let's switch direction she's out in front Maeve as soon as she hits, Let's see if she'll check in with me. She was doing a great job. I'm gonna switch directions on her again. She looks at me, very good. Maybe she's a little too far out ahead. Switch directions. Maybe good. Good. Maybe. Good. So, being kind of anal retentive with her is pretty beneficial. Good. As soon as she gets a step out ahead of us, good job. We're going to switch directions on her. Let her know that maybe that's not how she's going to get to go where she needs to go. It's hilarious. She's so much faster than I am. She takes like one step. Switch directions, Maeve. Very good. So this is perfect. Very good. Very good job, sweetie. Very good. And um, going back to our mat can even be a, a, an excellent way to finish off a walking session. Have her be nice and relaxed. Say, hey, I'm going to go on a walk. It's no big deal. Maeve, good girl. Good girl. Little nose dive there, very good. There you go, sweetie. Perfect. Perfect, and then we'd head inside. Maeve, come. <laughs> you happy where you are? Me. Come on, sweetie. Good girl. Perfect. So that is very, very good. Um, prog progress, uh, <laughs> not perfection. We just want to keep pushing in the right direction. Maeve. Let's see if we can get a little bit of eye contact. Very good. Excellent. Very good, sweetie. So that's what we're looking for. Very good.